I probably have uh, 20 motorcycles and God knows how many other machines and add up the uh, dollar amount for batteries. And mm -hmm. what do you think that comes out to? Uh, it's a heck of a lot easier to run a tender lead off of the battery and plug it in and let it float charge all winter long. Uh, if you want to take the thing for a ride, you just unplug it and go. And when you hit the button, it actually starts. Yeah. Same with springtime. You know, there's nothing worse in the spring, pulling the machine out, getting excited for that ride. And uh, you turn the key, nothing happens. Now you're hooking up jumper packs and chargers and everything else when it's just so much easier to, to keep a float charge on it all winter. Um, it's really a no brainer. It really is. Yeah. So I noticed that, that not all the the chargers are the same. Some of them are like a two amp, a four amp, a five amp. Uh, I'll notice um, some of them actually will shut off when the battery gets to a certain point. Some of them don't. So when somebody is looking for a charger, what is something they want to look for? Because obviously they don't want it to keep charging, charging, charging. And then you know, in, in the long run, do reverse, you know, they don't help it, they hurt it. So what's something that people need to look for when they are getting a charger, like a battery tender? Well, a tender style is the way to go. Uh, yeah. We're not, we're not hooking up uh, a battery charger here. You don't want to go take your Craftsman battery charger that's on wheels, roll it out of the barn from the tractor and hook it up to the ATV and walk away for a month. That's not yeah. the way to do it. That's a battery charger. What yeah. we're talking about here is a battery tender uh, and they, like I said, they float once it reaches where it wants to be, it shuts itself off, drops down, turns itself back on. A lot of the other ones don't do that. You know, if you're flipping that big old craftsman job on and you're mm -hmm. hearing a buzzing sound, you know, there's a lot of energy going through that thing. Um, it is not designed to be used as a trickle. It's designed to charge, um, you know, with the trickles and with the floats, you can use the uh, alligator clips and hook it to your battery. You can put your battery in your machine with the, uh, the, the tender lead hanging right out of it. And you don't have to do anything crazy. You lift the seat up or something and there's your tender lead and you plug the thing in. Uh, they're all, I think these days, the majority of them uh, have colored lights on them. So all you gotta do is walk up and look at the thing and it's telling you what state it's in, what it's doing. Um, but again, it really is a no-brainer. The cold air outside sucks the juice out of these things. Yeah. Um, keeping it plugged in all winter is the way to go.